Hello friends, I am Saurabh. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is rain water between towers problem. So the problem statement is we have an array where each element represents height of a tower. If it starts raining, what is the amount of water that can be collected between the towers? So the assumption here is that width of every tower is 1. Let us try to understand the problem with one example. So we have an array where which represents heights of the towers. So the values are 1, 5, 2, 3, 1, 7, 2. So after the rain, we can easily verify that the answer for this problem would be 9 units. Okay. So let's try to go to the algorithm for this problem. So for each tower, we try to figure out if there is some unit of rain water above it. If yes, then what is the amount? And then we keep adding rain water amount contribution by each tower to get total rain water for given set of towers. Let us try to understand the algorithm through series of questions and answers. Eventually we will arrive at our optimal solution. The first question is, for a tower how can we figure out if there is some unit of rain water on it? So let us try to visualize the scenario. For rain water to be on a tower, the height of tower should be less than one of the tower on its left and one of the towers on it's right. So what does this mean? So the next question is for current tower in consideration why its height should be less than height of at least one tower on its left for it to contain some unit of water on top of it. So consider tower 2 in the figure. We can easily visualize that since there is no tower on its left which has more height than it hence tower 2 will not contain any rain water on top of it. Similarly, current tower's height should be less than the height of at least one tower on its right for it to contain some unit of water on top of it. So the next question is, with the previous assumption that the height of current tower is less than one of the tower on its left and one of the tower on its right for it to have some rain water on top of it. So what is the maximum amount of rain water on top of the current tower? So uh, let us try to again visualize the solution using tower 5 we can easily visualize that 4 unit of water is on top of tower 5. How did we arrive at the solution? If we look closely, we arrived at solution by first looking on left of tower 5 and finding out maximum height on left side which is tower 2 and then looking on the right side of tower 5 and finding out maximum height which is tower 6. Finally, we did a minimum of height of tower 2 and height of tower 6 subtracting height of tower 5 which gave our solution which is 4 unit of water. So with previous discussions we arrive at our solution. Maximum amount of rain water on current tower has two values. First is zero when there is no tower on left of current tower with more height or there is no tower on right of current tower with more height or it is a minimum of maximum height of tower on left or maximum height of tower on right minus current tower height. So we can join both the condition previous condition and it would look something like this. We just have included the previous formula with max, max of existing formula, comma zero. So the algorithm is, uh, we with given tower height array, we create two arrays, max in right and max in left. Max in left i signifies max height on left side of tower i. Similarly, max in right i signifies maximum height on right side of tower i. Then we calculate for each tower, rainwater equal to rainwater plus our existing formula. So as per our previous discussion, we create max in left array and max in right array. First for loop here is initializing max in right array by traversing tower height array from right and keeping track of max in so far. We did one optimization here where we are not pre-populating max in left array and we just keep single variable max in left. While we are calculating water over each tower by iterating from left to right, we just keep track of max in left in max in left variable. I hope the problem and solution is very well understood by now. Please let us know your valuable suggestions on the same.